and welcome back to Bite Size DDU. I'm Presley and today I'm going to be talking about some really fun experiments you can do with these really cool rocket sleds. We made a video on how you can make these things and it will be a link right here as well as one in the doobly-doo. So you can actually, once you have one or two of these, demonstrate Newton's second and third walls in some really cool ways. Depending on when you're watching this, we might have already done a video on Newton's second and third laws. There'll be a link in the description when those go live. Newton's second law basically says that the amount of mass something has affects its acceleration. So with the same force, something with less mass will accelerate more than something with more mass. We were able to use the rocket sleds to demonstrate that by having my little brother Cooper and me push off of each other at the same time. You can see that my brother went much faster and farther than I did, even though we were under the same force. Then we added some sandbags to Cooper's sled, giving us roughly the same mass, and watch what happens when we do the experiment again. We both go roughly the same distance and speed because we have roughly the same mass. To show an even more extreme example, we did an experiment with me and my dad to show what a big difference mass can make. My dad barely moves while I take off. That's pretty cool, isn't it? Newton's third law says that every action has an equal and opposite reaction. We pushed against the walls, the walls pushed back on us, and we moved. So even though we created the force by pushing on the walls, we were the ones that moved. We also did an experiment on why these are called rocket sleds, as well as it proves Newton's third law. We put a bunch of sandbags on the rocket sleds, and then me and Cooper threw them off. Throwing them off created a force, and Newton's third law states that every action has an equal and opposite reaction, so we started moving backwards because throwing the sandbags off had an equal and opposite reaction. So it's just like a rocket, which forces out gases at amazing forces, and then the reactive force propels it off into space. It's all really amazing, and it's all because of Newton's third law. We tied it all together by doing an experiment where me and Cooper sat down on the rocket sleds and pulled a rope between us. I would pull Cooper and he'd move towards me, but I'd also move a little bit towards him. He'd do the same and I would move towards him a little bit, but he'd also move towards me. And then we both pulled on the rope at the same time and we both moved a little bit. Action and reaction. If you pull, you get pulled, and if you push, you get pushed. It also shows the relationship between mass and acceleration. Even if Cooper pulled me, or I pulled him, or we both pulled at the same time, he would always move faster towards me because he has less mass than I do, and we'd also end up meeting at the exact same place. That's pretty amazing, isn't it? Finally, we had a little bit of fun by me and my dad racing on the rocket sleds. It was really, really fun, but it also was a little bit of an experiment because my dad went further and faster than I did because it takes more force to get him going, but it also takes more force to slow him down. Friction was able to slow down my smaller mass faster than his, so he kept going further and faster than I did, and friction got to me first. It also was just a ton of fun. You can have a lot of fun with these and do all sorts of really cool stuff, and hopefully we'll be showing a little bit more experiments like this as we go further in laws of science. Huge thanks to Sheridan Rec Center in South Denver and the South Suburban Parks and Recreation. We definitely needed a lot bigger of a space for this video, and it's a really, really great space, and I'm so thankful to them for offering a little bit of space for us. And it's a super cool place. They have um, basketball and all sorts of sports and pickleball, and it's just a super great place. They have an awesome playground, and yeah, just go check it out, please. That's it for now. Subscribe for some more cool science content. It really does help us out. Thank you for watching, and hopefully I'll see you next time. Bye!